All right, as today's time period was in the 1880s, 1880s. He actually worked quite a few decades, so 1880s to 1920s, if you want to put that. Who are you looking at? Hopefully you guys recognize this individual. This is Teddy Roosevelt, one of our presidents. He was very much known for painting the presidents at that time period. He pretty much painted any wealthy or famous person in the United States and Europe. And he actually lived in Europe for quite a while painting all these individuals. But he was so good at capturing who this person was and how they portrayed themselves, which kind of gets into the whole reason he was known for what he did. When you guys look at a portrait, most people think it's, oh, it's just that person. Well, let's break down the word portrait. If you were to think of the root word of portrait, what would that word be? It would be portray. And so a true portrait is portraying who that person is, how they feel, how they act. And so he was so great in doing that. Think about your guys' school photos. Would you guys be sitting there going like this? Does that portray you? Most likely it does not at all. Whereas on the other hand, my school portra portraits that you might see outside of the door, that definitely portrays me. Those are my portraits. I am goofy, I'm weird, I'm energetic. That's what portrays me. And so he was excellent at trying to portray the actual person. The image that you're looking at right now, this painting is called Madame X. It was one of the most controversial paintings ever in the history of the world up to that point and was the most controversial painting for quite a few decades. You're looking at this probably thinking, oh, it's just a lady with a dress on that's not covering her shoulders. Well, yes, that's part of it. She has basically kind of a scantily cladded dress, um, but that wasn't necessarily the most important part. At that time, women were very much supposed to be wearing clothes that went all the way down to their hands. She did not. She was comfortable with that. What people didn't realize is that she actually was a woman who would bounce around from rich male to rich male. Her lifestyle was very promiscuous. But the crazy thing is the public really didn't know that at first. And so what you're looking at, this painting, isn't actually the original painting. The original painting is slightly different. So when this was unveiled, this painting had one small change. If you look at the strap on the left shoulder, that strap was actually painted as hanging down off the shoulder, as if the dress is falling off. This painting was revealed at this large event, and all of a sudden, these wives and women of other males in the room realized that, oh wait, my husband was hanging around that woman a few weeks ago or a couple years ago. And all of a sudden there was this huge controversy and it came out that she was basically sleeping with a lot of people. And so they didn't even want to pay for this painting until he fixed it, so he actually painted over the strap and painted the strap where it is now. If you were to actually, and they have pictures of this, have an x-ray of this painting, you can actually see where he painted the strap down along the shoulder. So very controversial, Madame X was this, but he wanted to portray her, who she really was. Here we have a woman who is laying on the bed. Now at that time, depression wasn't a thing. It wasn't a term. But this woman was, and what he wanted to do was actually really capture that feeling, that mood, that sense of loneliness, that sense of tiredness, that sense of sadness. And he really did an excellent job at trying to portray how she actually felt and who she actually was at that time in history. This next one is one of my favorites. At this time, it is a very chauvinistic world where men are in charge, they are in power, women are not. Yet, this painting of this woman is as if you were to walk into this room. This woman has full control over the viewer. She is looking at you as if she knows something that is a secret of yours. And she knows it and she has the power to do whatever she wants with it. It almost has this very seductive look at the same time, very relaxed. And so he was excellent in capturing who 
this person was and their confidence level and everything that goes on with this person as a true portrait. His name, John Singer Sargent. John Singer Sargent is this artist's name. So write that down. For the style, it is American scene, or sorry, American portrait painting. American portrait painting. So John Singer Sargent, American portrait painting. American portrait painting, 1880s to 1920s. The most important information I want you to know. Let's think about this real quick. 1880s to 1920s. There was a massive invention right before then that kind of took over the art world. Actually, so much so it's evolved so much that you, almost every one of you in this room, has this invention in your pocket right now. It is the camera. Before the camera, if you wanted your image or your family member wanted your image, you would have to hire a painter no matter what, and you'd have to sit there for hours and hours, and you'd have to pay a decent amount of money. Only really rich people had an image of their loved one, and if they went off to war, if they went overseas, they would have this commission. With the camera, that's not needed. Instead of sitting there for hours and hours and hours, just about anyone could sit there for 20 minutes and pay a, a fee, a reasonable fee, for their image. And so all of a sudden we have these artists that are no more. And John Singer Sargent is known as the last great American portrait painter. And that's what I want you to write down for the most important information. The last great American portrait painter. He was the last great American portrait painter. John Singer Sargent. Last great American portrait painter. Here is the image that I am going to show you on the opportunity, or we are going to show you on the opportunity. How I like to imagine it, or kids in the past have liked to imagine this. Imagine you walk into this room and you see this person or body laying there. Now, a lot of people think that this person maybe looks like Michael Jackson, who passed away quite a few years ago. Some people have recently told me that it kind of looks like Katy Perry laying there. Who knows? But we know this. We're going to imagine that this is a singer, whether it's Michael Jackson or Katy Perry. And if you were to see a singer passed away, not sure what happened, you might call a certain person. You might call the sergeant. So the phrase that we like to remember this, or the way we like to remember this in the art room is, the singer is dead, call the sergeant. And I'm going to go to the john to throw up. The singer is dead, call the sergeant, and I'm going to go to the john to throw up. So John Singer Sergeant, John Singer Sergeant.